Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Nation with Polonia Vorsheva. It's the final day of the season, and we're all having a lovely party to celebrate our promotion back to the top flight. So I thought we'd start on the day on the page of Mateusz Malik, who has just signed a new deal, taken his deal through to 2025. He only had one year left at the end of this year, and given the performances he's put in, I feel like he was worth it. Like, he's still on £210 a week, which ain't bad, but it is actually double the money he was on before, so there is that. Um, but I'm still trying my best to keep the finances in check. Um... Because at this level, that is super important. Like, we're still massively in the hole. We're £700,000 in debt at the moment, uh, to give you an idea. I'm kind of hoping that we'll get some new sponsors over the summer. And hopefully we can start to deal with that once the prize money from next year starts to come in. Because even, like, last place gets four hundred grand or something like that in prize funds. Uh, so that's not too bad. And I think that should be able to help us a little bit. But just looking at Mateus Malik this year, six goals, nine assists in the league. I mean... His performances across the seasons for us have just got better and better, basically. First year, he was pretty okay at one goal, three assists. Last year, five goals and 11 assists is sensational. This year, um, six goals and nine assists, but actually last year, he did that in much fewer games. So to be fair, this year, he's not been quite as good, but a much, much tougher level, and he's still been absolutely fearless. And huge, massive shout out to Matej Malek. I heard that Sebastian Zavzikaraj is personally funding a local filmmaker to document his rise to the top of Polish football. Apparently, the working title of Bend It Like Zavzikaraj may give some trouble with international sales. Yeah, they might want to bend it like Zav, maybe. That just shorten it a little bit. I think Nesh Petsnik was the player from Savino Vezda with the save. I think he was out for 18 months with the virus. Yeah, so that was the guy. It wasn't Nenad Gavric. It was Peshnik. Um, I always remember because I could never say his bloody name properly. So yeah, it was him and it was 18 months he was out with. Um, I've never seen that on any other save I've ever done on FM for a player to get the serious viral infection unless they are already programmed with it in the game. That's the only time I've ever had a player actually get that as an injury. Um, that was a very strange one. With Building a Nation, does the youth rating go up and can you change the other details of the game? Unfortunately not. Uh, that would be awesome if the dynamic uh, if the youth reputation of the entire nation was able to improve because of the league's improvements and the infrastructure, uh, that would be cool. It'd be cool to have an option if you were like a national team manager to um, take steps to actually improve the overall youth rate in through infrastructure projects or like not but like to be able to ask the FA potentially for that kind of stuff. I think that'd be a nice feature because I think it sort of really limits what you could do with potentially an unfancied national team. And like I said, I'm potentially thinking about the idea of much later down the line, take over the Polish national team and try and see what we can do there as well. There's all kinds of plans with this save. Don't worry. Not playing a Polonia Warsaw save, but I am I am using a tactic. Okay, so that's the thing. And apparently, if you mess with the DM, like I've done, like I've done, it just doesn't work. The DM doesn't get the high ratings, but they are the real hero, the unsung hero of this tactic. For whatever reason, the game doesn't recognise their contributions, but when they're not played in that exact role, the tactic falls apart. So it clearly does something. I'm really glad that the tactic's working for you. Um, if you guys want to show me any results you've had with it, let me know. Like, show me this schedule page. I love that stuff. It's great that you enjoy recording these because I really enjoy watching them. Yeah, I'm just kind of with this series, like... Views-wise, it ain't doing what Stockport did, but it was never going to. I don't really care. I, like, I'm just enjoying the save, and I'm glad that those of you that are watching the series still are just enjoying it. I'm just having a really nice time. This is so Red Star, it's unbelievable. This is the exact same thing that happened with that. Like, it never used to get the views of Pompey, but I didn't really care because it was just a save I was really enjoying. And that's kind of where I'm at with this one right now. Um, just having a really, really nice time playing good football in theory and winning matches with these guys and hopefully doing some like it's gonna get tougher we know that but at least we've got a solid foundation with which to build on anyway one game off camera two games to go in today's episode just to try some stuff out let's go yeah and we took an absolute humbling um if there's one tactic that this system and shape does not work against it is this uh you might not be able to see from my face cam but essentially they're playing an asymmetric syst an asymmetric system with one of the wingers drop deeper and one of them higher up we just can't seem to control it the amount of shots and they had 60 percent possession against us that's the most anyone's had in about three years against us um yeah sure they took a penalty to take the lead. Uh, Bochnat was dreadful and gave away a uh, foul in the box. But then uh, Kozavski's goal as well, they, they got through. Lovely run from the deeper winger this time, I think it was. Shot, bounced back to him. There he was to make it 2-0. They could have had more. Uh, Cabrera was sent off late on with a second yellow. I'm going to impose a suspension on him anyway for today's match though, because it doesn't seem to, it doesn't count the yellow cards if you get a second yellow as a normal yellow card. So it's not going to count towards a normal suspension. So if I remember to do it, I will do that uh, in future in this because I want to make sure that there's some fairness to it, you know? That leaves us seven points clear at the top. We do still have a game in hand here. So it's not the end of the world. We've still been phenomenal this year, um, but it's a real battle to see who's actually going to go up though. That's the key thing here. There's, there's still a lot on the line between those those three sides really any of those three could still go up 
But down at the bottom, you notice Piast have actually been relegated. Um, their form kind of dropped off at one point. They only lost like two matches in like 11 and got a lot of wins in there. But now I think they've not won any of their last six and have just really dropped off towards the end. So they have been relegated to the third tier. And today we're playing a team who are fighting for their lives. Oh, and also our B team won the lower league Polish uh, Warsaw Cup that they actually won it. We beat Legionova in the final on penalties, nil-nil. I set a load of first team players available to make sure that we could try and get that, which means we are going to be playing um, with our B team in the Polish Cup next year. Both of our sides are going to have a crack. And I know it works because uh, Wisła did it, won the Cup last year with their second side and they did get to play in the Polish Cup the next year. So I'll be very interested to see how they do. But for now, let's go. Um, okay, so Kibera, oh, he is. Oh, no, he's injured. <laughs> a forced suspension, if you will. Oh, and Wugowetsky is also suspended, weirdly. So I guess uh, Luchkiewicz is going to have to play in there. Neugebauer is on international duty because he's just a jet setter, I'll add. But everyone else I'm pretty happy with. Uh, actually, no. We're going to bring Kokoschka back in here because I think he deserves it. Is start Alexander Janowski, the young, young... Hang on, is he counted as under 21? That's interesting, isn't he? Like... 17. Okay, so it does work. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to start Alexander Janowski today, our young, talented, deep line playmaker, because I want to see what he can do in the top flight. So on the bench, we're going to go with Pichara, Yaziak, Zavzhakar, of course, Gora, uh, Griziak, don't know who that is, uh, Kvantiliani, and Branitsky, just to fill the bench up. I'm very interested in what Janowski's going to do today. See what Janowski's capable of today. I want to see what his pass completion is like. That's to me, is one of the key uh, statutes of being that fulcrum in the middle of the pitch um it's a different di midfield pairing entirely today so i want to see how they do malik patch cat could drop it across for janowski he could have a shot here and he has done first shot of his career for us in the first team big milestones here janowski's making a run here oh meal's gone sliding past people squares it across bochnak in there we had four players queuing up to put that in the back of the net bochnak got his ninth goal of the season now it's not quite vishnevsky numbers from the first season but it's not bad really the fact that him and ferret are pretty close this is a really nice one as well from janowski uh, like, he's getting in there. He's one of the players that gets to the back post. He doesn't quite make the run, actually, in the end. But look at that. We had four players there lining up. Any of them could have put that in, but it's Bochnak that gets the goal. Mil gets the assist. Of course, he does. Lovely. 1-0. Oh, God. Why is my keeper taking free kicks? <laughs> I think it's because he must have been on the list of players in, and because the others aren't in the team. Tobias again. See what his delivery is like. It's not bad, is it? Uh-oh. Okay, see, here's the thing, Keeps, right? It would be a sensible idea to not just dally around when you've taken it. Maybe get back in goal, though. <laughs> We're playing a dangerous game today. This is going to be interesting. Ball across. Cleared away. Bochnak again, and he's made it too. And now he is into double figures for the season. Mateusz Bochnak has been sensational today. His positioning is so good. Um, this ball out from Janowski here is a bloody fantastic pass. I know I'm going to be filleting every time he touches the ball today. Um, terrible clearance, but Bochnak to take that full on the volley at the near post and smash it in for 2-0. That is just classic stuff from us. Lovely old job. Uh-oh, Kalemba. Oh, it's in! Christoph Kalemba gets one back for Garbalia. Maybe there is still hope left in the tank for them yet. They still need another two goals though, to be honest, so it's looking a bit tough for them. Uh, Vigri are in trouble down there as well, in all honesty. In fact, it looks like those three um, are pretty much dead in the water because Gurnick still have another game. Yunoski, 96% pass completion over 60 passes. That's what I like to see. Oh God, not another one, surely. Look, right, see this. This is my what pisses me off about free kicks in this game. I have my players set to man mark as much as I physically can. And we, no matter what you do, no matter where we set up zonally, man marking, no matter how many players you put back, there will always be these back post runners that you cannot seem to stop. And it, it pisses me off because I just don't know what to do about it. Um, ball across. And it's flicked to the back post. Oh, wow. That should have been a goal for them, probably. The hero of the early stages of the save. It's nice to give him a league start here and there. Um, see what he can do. Come, imagine if he comes up with a couple of goals in the final few matches. Great ball. Camille brings it down. Can he get the shot away? Oh, but instantly Pechara comes in. Great pass. Kokoschka. Camille. Oh, nice work. Bochnak. I'd love a hat-trick for him today. He could slip one through for someone, though. Oh, Luchkovic, Pichara, Boknak! Oh, nearly, nearly. Bizalo again. Luchkovic. Janowski again. Nice ball out wide for Kokoschka. A little bit short. Um, can he whip across it? He does. And Boknak gets in there again. He's been everywhere today. Our build up today has been quite nice. Kvantiliani's ball in. Janowski flicked over the top and it's Christian Pichara with the goal. Of course he's gone and got one. Oh, that's so nice to see. It might well be one of his last appearances for the club. And not only that, but Alexander janowski has got an assist today. Uh, I think it's a headed assist too. Just whips it back into the danger area. Pichara gets the flick on. It's 3-1 and Christian Pichara has grabbed himself a goal off the bench. What a lad. You like to see it. Polonia Vosova 3, Garbania uh, 1. Oh, there we go game over um brilliant performance from bochnak pichara coming off the bench to grab a goal late on that's a really nice thing to see and to get janowski the assist too is always very nice
92% pass completion, over 100 passes completed. I'm fairly pleased with the youngster's performance today. I've got to say, and to get an assist too is very nice. Thought I'd come back a tiny little bit early to show you that we have just gone and won uh, the under-19 league. We won it by three points in the end, and that is insane to do that in our first season up in this division. I um, don't know how we did in terms of top goal scorers and stuff, but I think it's worth showing you. There you go. Um, yeah, plus 42 goal difference in the end. I mean, we definitely deserved it, but we were given a bloody good run for our money to win it at the first time of asking. That's insane. I don't think you can go above this. I think this is the... Um, the highest league possible uh, for under 21, uh, for under 18. So to win it in our first season after promotion is fantastic. No beating around the bush today. Just going to get into things, of course. Um, we have got space for two more scouts, which is going to help dramatically again with scouting the youngsters too. And we found some good ones at the moment. So this summer is going to be very interesting with the amount of money I've got to spend. Uh, so Patchy Cat is suspended, which is a bit of a shame, but that doesn't really matter because we've got... Uh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, Probably going to go with Yaksik, even though he's not fully, fully fit, because I think he's just better than Yaziak. But everyone else I'm going to leave uh, in the team. I don't think we can do much about these guys. Actually, no, I might bring... Uh, how did Lucy Fitz... Uh, I don't know. I might bring Wugowetsky back in, but I'm definitely keeping Janowski in the team, because I want to see what he can do, given a, a couple of matches. And I'm also going to start Christian Pichara today. Final, potentially... It could be the final match he ever plays for us, so I want to give him a chance to... So they're going with that system. Huge surprise, not... It should be relatively straightforward, but it never really is. They've actually won four of the last five games. Let's go. The fans have been excellent for us this year. Let's go and finish on a high on 73 points. Again, I'm going to keep my eye on Janowski today. He got an assist in the last match. Can he go one better today? Maybe score a goal or grab another assist? We'll see. Oh, God, the goalkeeper's still taking him. Isn't it? <laughs> I really need to fix that for next season, but I can't be bothered to do it now, just in case he scores one. Oh, that's the problem. The issue is, it's because... Oh, he's offside. The issue is because normally it's Neugebauer in goal, not Tobias. So that's why I've never noticed it before. Look at long. Bejalo will pluck that out the air and keep the play moving. Malik has got an overlap. Janowski could find it. No, goes for Boknak again. And he's gone for goal again. Janowski is very good at finding Boknak and he's peeling into some good positions, but just not getting the shots away very well. Yeah, we've not hit the target yet with a single uh, shot, which is a bit concerning. Oh, dear. No, nope. well played, Konkoshka. That's really nice. Janowski's got to look out. Oh, nice little disguise pass for Kamil. Might go all the way through himself. Pichara. Malik. Oh, nice work. Really, really nice work. Pichara doesn't get the goal, but he does set one up for Mateusz Malik, who grabs his seventh goal of the season now. Uh, he's had a really good second half of the year. Janowski, this I really like this little disguise pass to Kamil. Um, but then the way he just slips this through to Pichara, who could have maybe taken it on, but instead just knocks it into the path of Malik. Lovely strike near post. And we've got the lead again. And we're going to end up finishing 10 points clear at this rate, which is insane. Go out there, do it for the fans. Go grab another goal or two in the second half. Pichara, goal and an assist in very few game time minutes this year. I've got to say, he's certainly given me reason for, for thought, um, if nothing else. But he's going to be, you know, he's going to be even worse next year as he slowly winds down. But he's definitely got some serious talent. Kamil, oh, brilliant. Can he grab one himself? No, he doesn't. That's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. And really, Kamil should be finishing that one. Finds Janowski, nice touch. Picks it around the corner for Pichara. This is nice work, actually. Oh, what a ball. Pichara does have a great range of passing, doesn't he, Malik? Back post, cleared away, Boknak. Oh, Toby, I should have another crack at it. Ball across, cleared away. Oh, this could be the one where we can... S oh, wow. Well, I mean, fair play to him. Like, that's my own fault. That is a hell of a strike from Bartosz Flisto to actually score there from his own half. Um, that's the risky run when you let goalkeepers take those. But to be fair, the AI normally never have the um, presence of mind to actually go and take the shot on from that kind of distance. Look how far he is. He's not just inside his own half. He is miles inside his own half. It's only just trickled over the line. It's one all here. They've got themselves a late equaliser against us, but it's our own fault. But we'll fix that for next season. Meal. Oh, it's Mokwa's about to get red carded, but it's probably going to be too late for anything. Tommy is bombing it up the pitch to take the free kick. Of course he is. They're about to be down to 10 men. I don't think it's going to matter. A weird way to finish off the season, but it looks like it's going to be that. But it looks like Gornick are actually going to go down. Tobias, ball in. Oh, it's scored! The goalkeeper has scored! Mateusz Tobias has scored the winner for us in the 95. <laughs> That's amazing. They got a red card. Goalkeeper's come up and gone, all right then, have a bang on that. Smash, back of the net. And it looks like we might win the match anyway with the goalkeeper scoring. Of course he has. That is insanity. Um, and Kokosha will keep that and just lump it long to see out the match. And there we go. We have one in the end. 75 points on the board. Uh, Tobias with the winning goal in the 90th minute. <laughs> They managed to score a goal from inside their own half. They then had a man sent off and our winning goal was scored by our keeper. Um, quite an eventful game, it's fair to say. Uh, we actually didn't end up with the best defence in the league either, but we definitely um, were up there for attack, and that's what I like to see. Well, that was a weird old game, if ever I've seen one. Vigri do actually end up going down in the end. I assume that Gordic scored a late goal, or Vigri conceded... Oh my god, they conceded twice in second half stoppage time to get themselves relegated. God, imagine that. 84th minute goal thinks that they've survived as a result of that goal and then they can see twice in stoppage time to lose 
and go down. Mental. Anyway, other leagues. Go to the top first. Uh, as you can see, Lechia have won it for a second season in a row. That's impressive. Their first ever title win, as far as I could tell, was last year. And now they've won it back-to-back -back seasons. That's that's crazy. Fair play to them. Also, newly promoted side. Getting in there. Nicely done. And down go uh, Wodge. And, well, yeah. Um, not looking great for some of these teams, is it? But that's where we're going to hopefully be next year. Hopefully in the other group, though. But as you can see in the third tier, um, fourth place team and fifth place teams are the teams that are coming up. <laughs> because there's three of those other ones. That's crazy. So there you go. Um, yeah. All those second sides not doing the best job there. And as you can see, sixth through <laughs> ninth place with only 43 points that has qualified you for the playoffs uh, in this division. I don't have the leagues below turned on anymore to save some time. Um, so there you go. That's how things are going down in the other leagues in Poland. I might start turning on some other countries soon. We'll see how we do in the first season in the top flight because our scouting range is still Poland only for now. An interesting finish to the season there. Um, oh, no, we won the last game 3-1, didn't we? Pichara, nice work. Just a really, really top season. We're champions again for the third season in a row. We've gone up as champions. Hugely pleased with that. Um, yeah, analysis video later is going to be quite an interesting one as well. So join me for that or at least the first part of that if you're that interest you anyway um yeah if you've enjoyed this season and you're looking forward to seeing us in the top flight and transfer window is going to be the best one yet then drop a like on the video that'd be phenomenal and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button that'd be great as well and i'll join you guys in the next episode for transfer goodies the jacket i ordered still hasn't come so i'm still short of a costume so the pimp suit is going to be back again um it's, it's ridiculous really but there you go and i'll see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching Bye bye